Hello there, this is the Bible of soccer, not soccer, and in this video we're gonna talk about South Korea, the, the defense that plays, and about how beautiful this war looks like. Okay, so I remind you that English is not my first language, English is not my second language, and that I'm going here with no teleprompter, no guidelines, no master edition, recording everything from my cell phone and I speak a little bit slow so I won't lose my train of thought. Okay, so South Korea. Okay, I'm gonna start to do, I'm gonna try to do my best on the pronunciation on the name of the players, but uh, I also gonna be using this okay so we have soon sean or seun seun uh this is the goalkeeper he has a very particular way to make the saves because he usually sends the ball when he's safe very far away okay far from him okay uh, also, he has a very good reflex and he do a lot of saves also with his legs. Okay, and another particular thing that he has is that he, he likes to go to the 101. Okay, even when an opponent comes with a defender, okay, he's going to try to go out anyways to the 101. Okay, and try to uh, make a save or take the ball. Okay, but this also can be his use uh, for the opponents. He also can, this also can be viewed like a weak point because if he's going with a defender already and he tries to go to do the 101, okay, the opponent can just pass the ball to the empty spot and somebody else can just score okay but I'm just mentioning that particular uh, way that he has now we have here a uh, mean okay mean is a central defender okay he has good long pass okay as well as short pass that's what I say, this is the defense uh, that plays because all the defenders here, they have a very good uh, game with their foot, okay? And they can start building the attack from the very beginning, okay? So this uh, mean he has long pass, short pass. He like to cover, okay, the spot. And he also uh, made the function like the last man of this team, especially when we have this particular way of uh, behavior of this goalkeeper that he's gonna tr try to go out to the one-on-one, even if, if a defender already comes with the attacker and this player mean, he usually is the one who is gonna cover that empty uh, spot. Okay, this is not really usual, okay, but when this happened, that's pretty much the, the dynamics. Also, this uh, player is, a very, is very tall, but his aerial game is not so good, okay. Uh, he's very tall and his aerial game should be better, but this is not the case, okay. Anyways, his aerial game is good enough. And the other thing is that this is a player that just made it to the um, uh, the absolute team, the national team. Okay, he used to play in the under divisions for the national team, but he's kind of uh, new in this team. But I think he's gonna be the the starters for the World Cup because he's a good player in comparison with the other ones okay then we have here young 
he has a very good anticipation, okay, and he also has good short pass, okay, as I mentioned about this stem. Then we have here Chul, he's a right back, he should be there, but in this team the coach is going to put him there, okay. He usually, because of this situation, and also because his style of playing is like that, he also is not going to wait or he is not going to try to anticipate any attack. He is just going to be there when somebody comes and he's going to try to do the marking. And he always going to be like just enough to be with the attacker, okay? He's not going to try to uh, wait in the front or come from the back. He's always going to be like side to side, okay? He has a very good projection. He also has short pass. And he has a very good or good uh, aerial game. And the weak point on this player is that uh, when he gets all the way here, then he forgets how to do good short passes. And even cross passing or center passing are not so good. Okay, so we could say that this is the kind of players uh, who feel the pressure of the match. Okay, because here he does good or decent short passes but when he gets here he really is not good at uh, making assistance okay then we have here a uh, gin gin <coughs> is fast okay and he has a very uh, fast reaction also when he goes to defend him as well as when he goes to attack him. And he has a very good uh, or good vision of the game in general. Okay. Then we have here Hyun. Hyun in reality is a central back. But he can also play as defensive midfielder. He is uh, also good at kicking penalties <clears throat> and he is good as well in short pass, okay, he is good at sweeping, okay, remember he's a central defender in reality and he's a little bit fast, not so fast but a little fast, he has good aerial game and also the reason why he is here and not in the back and one of these here is because uh, he can get away from opponents, okay, with the ball, okay, he has a little bit of dribbling and he can get away from, he can take away some other players from the opponent team. Okay, so that's why he is there and not any of the other two. Then we have a Ha. Okay, he really is a midfielder. Okay, he can do defensive and attacking. He has very good uh, faint drills. Okay. He knows how to do the change from defending to attacking. So very often we're gonna see that and the ball is gonna go through him when the match is a little bit luck and they don't know what to do okay he is one of the variants that he knows how to go from defending to attacking okay and he's a little bit fast and i call this uh midfielder a semi acrobatic because sometimes you see him playing and you don't know if he's suffering but in reality he has everything under control 
but he just is a little bit awkward in his style of playing okay and you may see you may think that he's suffering but he's not in reality that's his style of playing so usually uh, he has everything under control of course uh, this is football sometimes the situation of the match you can lose the ball but obviously that can happen okay then we have uh, high okay but before we continue this is pretty much how they stand for defending okay this is gonna be a line of four and then you will have a line of two these two always gonna be in line pretty much and this four okay that's why I use okay I positioned this magnets here and not here okay these players because uh, usually most teams in the world they okay they wait all the way to the back until the ball is here and they have four defenders there but this is not the case of South Korea they usually defend a little bit forward with this four and then you will have two more in the back okay this is usually how they play okay we have here high he's a midfielder in attacking his position in original position is here but the coach moved him here because uh, Heun or Heun he plays there and he's better than him okay so he plays here and high uh, his original position is there where he is good but in the national team he plays there okay he's a mid attacking midfielder uh, his side has been changed of course as i mentioned uh, he, as a, he's a talented player he has some dribbling skills but uh, like 50% of the time he used these dribbling skills to go to the back okay that can be good and that can be bad uh, <clears throat> okay this player also have pass because he's a midfielder by him by itself by himself originally so uh, he is going to go to the back 50% of the time He's very talented with dribbling, so sometimes like two players or more can come to him and 50% of the time he's going to try to get away from them, going to the front in attacking and 50% of the time he's going to go to the back, but he's going to be still in possess of the ball and make a pass to another player, which in this team it makes sense if you have a player that will actually goes to the back with dribbling because pretty much all defenders can make a good pass okay this is the signature of this team all their defenders are very good with a game with their foot okay so uh, he's a good player but this could be seen as a weakness that he used his talent to go back okay but only 50 percent of the times maybe not bad for the asian standards of players i don't know and here we have a hewn as i mentioned before he is the best player of this team he used uh, both feet okay the right and the left okay he can score from outside the box with his right foot or with his leg foot uh, he has a very good sense of scoring he's fast and he goes straight uh, to try to score okay you don't gonna see him go here or go here he usually try to go in the direction to uh, score okay then we have here Chan Chan uh, is a <clears throat> that's his position 
okay? This is the position where he plays the best and he plays there in the national team also. He has a very good uh, reading of the game, okay? Very good reading of the game, okay? That's an eye, okay? But not really very good reading of the game in general. Just in the situations or in the organizing that goes near him, okay? Not good in a lecture of the game in general because the difference for me is that sometimes if a striker needs to go all the way back when it's necessary, okay, he's gonna do it, but he doesn't have that, okay? If the coach tells him to go back, he goes back, okay? But by himself, he doesn't have a good lecture of the match in general, but he has a very good lecture of the situations when the ball is near him and that can make him to have a kind of uh, give him a sense of location okay some intuition to where to go or where the next uh, step in the attacking is gonna be okay and here we have a he Okay, he in reality is a central striker. Okay, he plays there or there. He run a lot. He likes to run a lot. And uh, because this is not his original position, he gets affected by this change because here is where he is very, very good or good. But when you move him here, He's not as good. So he usually what, he, what he's going to do is that he's going to try to look or move to his original position. Okay, he's not going to try to go here and help the team or usually. Okay, he's going to try to look for his uh, original position. So North Korea with this change from this player from here to here they lose a little bit, okay? Now, how do you beat this team? Okay, so this team, uh, as I mentioned, they have a line of four and then a line of two. So usually what you want to do is try to organize, okay? Some attacking, I will say that maybe in the center is better because you have more choices okay but you can do also from here and then if you organize from there you can try to move the ball or change the attacking all the way there but that's more difficult okay so let's try to do it uh, through the center and then you want to try to go to this empty spots okay this empty area because they gonna try to do the defending this line of four and this always gonna be an empty space if you go in the middle and then you go there especially if you could try to go there very close to this defender maybe you have a clean try okay from there but if not, you can go all the way there and then you can try to go with a center pass. Also, another thing to do against this team, even if you usually, if your team usually plays with one striker or two strikers, the best way to play against North Korea is with three, using three strikers. Okay, that way you have superiority in players. They will have two and you will have three there and these four, they usually stay intact. And when you move here, then you have in the last line, you will have three against two. Of course, these two are always gonna try to come back. Okay, but 
usually they remain in this line, in the midfield line, if we can call it like that. Sometimes this happens very close, okay? I'm just trying to uh, make it more easy, the explanation, okay? Make it, make it easier. But um, usually if you have three here, you're already going to have an advantage because they usually going to have only two players in the last line. Also, also, as I mentioned, if you come here, okay, this player is going to try to come to defense and to defense. And then this, remember that the goalkeeper is going to go try to go to you one by one, even when you already have a defender. And this one is going to try to come here to uh, protect the ball. Okay, and then you may want to try to do a fast, a quick uh, cross or center pass. Okay, <clears throat> so obviously it's not as easy. Okay, because they also have a system for defending. They know their you know uh, their weak points. Okay, but uh, in the tactical uh, way of winning against this team this will be the proper way of course then if your players are better of course uh, you can score in a different way but this tactically this will be the proper way to beat them and the other thing that uh, you can do against this team is the same thing and even when you're not scoring what's going to happen is that these two players they're going to try to come too fast Okay, this also can happen if the attacking is in this in this side. Okay, and they usually uh, can give you a foul if they come too fast, and that can generate a free kick that you can take advantage of, or if you come here, you can generate a corner or even a penalty kick. Okay, because usually these two players are gonna be the ones. Now I'm going to come real fast and you can generate a foul around the box or inside the box or getting a corner kick. Okay, so that's going to be uh, all for this video. Uh, if you like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, you can share it. And if you don't want to miss my uh, next video, you can subscribe if you haven't uh, done so. And it says goodbye to you, the Bible of soccer. Thank you very much for watching.